See, it's a cycle. Preparation for cell division. You know, it's a massive process because one cell is going to form another cell, another two daughter cells. Now, in this process, a lot of things have to happen because it's actually giving rise to two new cells. Everything has to be taken care of properly. So, let's study what are the steps. Preparation for cell division. Interphase. Interphase. Okay. So, I'm chunking this cell cycle, total cycle into interphase and then the M phase. Interphase and the M phase. Two major phases. Two major phases. Correct? You know what? The actual division, that means cell forming two cells, happens where? Can anyone of you tell me? It happens in the, come on, quick, M phase, not in the interface. So what happens in the interface? Let's talk about that. Let's see, interface, the preparation stage. Wow. Tasks to be completed before the cell division. What are the tasks? Cell must grow. Of course, it is divided into two cells. So cells must grow. Copy genetic material, the DNA. DNA, the genetic material has to be copied. Of course. Otherwise, this is the parent cell. It forms two daughter cells. How will the daughter cells get the genetic material? If the genetic material is not duplicated, it's not copied, each of them would not receive the genetic material and that's futile. That's bad. That would not lead to the cells. The, that would lead to the cells to die. The cells would not stay alive. Correct? Okay. But uh, can anyone of you tell me name of a cell which do not have nucleus or the DNA? Nucleus or I can say it does not have the DNA. These type of cells are present in our body. Let me see who can answer this. What type of cells does not have the genetic material? Yes. Answer it. Okay. I'll move on with the explanations now. So, what are the essential steps? Cell growth is essential. Copy of the genetic material that is DNA is essential. Fine. Well, now, interphase, if I talk about interphase, see, 95% of the cell cycle is occupied by interphase. In a very short phase, the actual division of the cell is just occupying 5%. 5%, okay? So, this is 95%, okay? 95% is occupied by the interphase. So, so the cell spends more time or rather maximum time in preparing for the division. And the division phase is just comprising 5% of the cell cycle. Great. Now let me talk about the interphase here. The interphase, the M phase and now interphase have been divided into three subphases. Let's see. Do you see G1? S and G2. This is the sequence you have to remember. When a cell is dividing, this is the sequence it follows. G1 followed by S phase followed by the G2 phase. And G1, S and G2 phases are part of what? Interphase or M phase? Interphase. 